Dine and dash is the act of eating a meal at a restaurant and leaving without paying. When I hear Dine and Dash being mentioned, I immediately go to the great Charles Doza, where he was arrested and then gave us one of the finest monologues ever recorded. This is Democracy Manifest. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Get your hands off my penis! When that video went viral so many years ago, there was a ton of different rumors and stories surrounding it. It had this air of mysticism almost. It ranged from hyping him up as some kind of Gotham supervillain to him being an infamous dine and dashing culprit that they were finally apprehending. And for some reason, that always stuck with me. So when I think of dine and dash, he is who I picture in my head now. Even though that wasn't the truth of that situation there, it's still for some reason <laughs> what has been locked in my noodle. So today when I saw a body cam video of a douchebag being arrested for dine and dashing, I couldn't help but just think about Charles Doza and how much cooler he was than this loser we're about to watch. On August 16th, 2022, yes, officers yes, responded to a report of a man yes, leaving a restaurant without paying his bill. Why are you asking for my Because you're being you? accused of a crime. I'm not saying that you're oh, guilty, no, I'm but sorry. I gotta get you identified. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, just, I... relax, relax, come over here. So that's the gist of it. He's being accused of not paying his bill at a restaurant, so now he's got one star and the cops are just casually coming up to him asking for his ID. This video has blown up over the last 12 hours and every post about it says that this is a Wall Street Bets mod. I'm sure all of you have heard of that subreddit, Wall Street Bets. It's a very popular one. And I don't know if that's a true statement or not, but if this really is a mod on Wall Street Bets, that makes this situation even goofier because this goober is the quintessential Reddit mod in real life caricature. And good heavens, it couldn't be more fitting. <laughs> it's exactly what you envision when you picture a mod interacting with other human beings in the real world. I went over there to have happy hour. I had uh, I had some food and I was a day trade. I do option trading. Uh, I got a business major and I got an accountant, so I do day trade. He randomly decides to mention that he's a day trader, does options like yeehaw, woo, that's fucking awesome. This guy's amazing. It has nothing to do with anything. That is totally irrelevant to everything. It wouldn't matter if you're Michael Jordan. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't matter. You didn't pay your bill. You can't do that. All right, so were you by yourself? Yes, by myself. All right, how much How much did you eat? What did you buy? Uh, no, it was only 70 bucks, bro. $70 worth? <laughs> yeah. All right. So... God, his attitude is so insufferable. So he's laughing at, it was only 70 bucks, bro. I make that in a millisecond with my day trading and options because I am a Hustlers University graduate and I learned all about this kind of stuff, brother. Like I was on Reddit the other day getting my financial advice as I usually do and I'm making a killing right now. $70, that's nothing. This, this is a non-issue. He just doesn't understand like liquidity versus supply and demand. He doesn't understand the bell curve, the angle of azimuth. Uh, I told, I tried to pay with Apple Pay. Okay. Uh, and he said, like, I'm sorry, sir, we don't take Apple Pay. I was like, who I gave him my credit card. My okay. credit card didn't go through. His Fine. face, okay. his face was really upset already. And I'm like, I tried to educate him. I'm like, listen, I don't have any liquidity with me okay. because most of my capital is my investments. And banks, I don't have banks. Neither. He sounds like me when I was back in high school thinking of excuses for why I didn't finish an assignment. Like just a bunch of nonsense mumbo jumbo. He goes through this long speech about why he can't pay for it because he doesn't believe in liquidity. You know, liquidity is a belief held by simpletons and he doesn't have anything in the bank. He'd be a damn fool to have anything in the bank, obviously. So he just can't pay for the food at all. He talks about how all of his money is in investments, which is turbo dope. I have no doubt in my mind this guy is investing epic swag style into the coolest web 3 projects he's got tons of awesome coins like i know he's crushing it big thanks to world of warships for sponsoring this video i've been working with the world of warships team for quite some time to design some custom in-game content so i'm a commander in the game now i go by chuck blast on the seas out there and i'm an absolute menace the name of our ship is the Blastmaster. We sail under Chuck's flag. So I help design the assets, the camo, just kind of top to bottom. It looks like me, it sounds like me, because I do the voice acting for it. Dead on target. I'm, for all intents and purposes, engaged in war out there, and it's extremely fun. World of Warships is an amazing game that my father and I play together. He's been heart addicted for years, so it's really fun to 
watch him play as Chuck Blast. So there's new content released every month. There's so many ships to choose from, destroyers, battleships, aircraft carriers, cruisers, and you can play alone or in a division with friends. So you can use code PENGUINZ0 to get the mission to unlock me as your commander, Chuck Blast. You also get seven days premium account time, 1.5 million credits, 500 doubloons, and the Battleship Bayern. It's available for PC and consoles, and the code is for newly registered players, but existing players can acquire these items by purchasing my bundle or through the new internet's containers. So you can click the link in the description to get started. Thanks again, World of Warships. All right, okay, okay. Do you have any means to pay that seventy? No, 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 no. I want to sue them. I'm sorry. <laughs> but did you... no, 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 no. I'm sorry. You're asking the wrong question, sir. I'm so sorry. You consume food, right? Huh? You consume yeah, 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 food? Yeah, yeah. It's just something was off with this guy. He pitched this crazy fit, went nuts in here, threatening people. Just I'm talking about like went nuts at the bar. I love that he's playing the victim here like this. Oh, actually, I want to sue them for thinking I couldn't pay 70 measly dollars. 70 clams? Oh, that's nothing. Of course I can pay that. I have no ways of paying that because all of my money is in these investments, but I, I obviously have $70. And, you know, I want to sue them now. Like, the, the delusion on this guy is incredible. I, I have no doubt that he was probably trying to barter with them at some point too. Like, oh, actually, do you accept bonds here? I, I'd like to pay in some of these bonds. As you see, I'm, a, I'm an investor, so I... I don't really believe in liquidity. Uh, okay, maybe not bonds. Do you accept a safe moon here? N no safe moon? Oh my god, you guys are so behind on the times. This is archaic. No Web3 capabilities here? Uh, okay, how about, uh, can I pay you in cum rocket coin? Okay, I'm out of here. You won't accept cum rocket coin? I was even going to leave a 200% tip. That's your fault now. Uh, $70 is nothing. That's literally no money at all. I fart and $70 comes out of my ass. It's not that I can't pay. It's that I'm not going to pay because you're not accepting real currency like my shit coins here. And apparently he was throwing a tantrum too, threatening people. What an unhinged lunatic. Do you have a way to pay that bill now? Correct. No, no, I don't, um, I don't have it now. You can? All no, right, no, so I can't pay it. But I, I, want to, I want to report the business. All right, but listen. Because it was a statement. Can I say this? Walking yeah. away from my tab. No, no, he kicked me out. Yeah, I know, but you, because... No, 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 no. All you, right. No. Hold on, hold on, Victor. No, you can't, no, Victor. No. You can't because then you're going to go to jail. No, I, I, yeah. I, I know. But I relax. Put your hand over here. Put your no, stuff over here. No, hands. No. Put your I, stuff over here. Don't come with that, sir. Weirdo NPC here is trying a very interesting technique of being as annoying as possible. I cut out a large chunk of it there because it was just him putting on this, like, drama club thespian troupe performance about being on camera and shit. Just to be a nuisance. I, so I think what he's trying to do here is just be so bothersome to the officer that the officer loses interest. So he like de the police officer by just being annoying and the police officer just doesn't want to deal with the headache and leaves. I'm pretty sure that's what his strategy is, but luckily it doesn't work out. You know, how late we stay open? It might take him till 10 o'clock before he can pay his tab. He was on his computer. I mean, it was nuts. This Ooh. guy is out there. I to see if I have that better, I boost him. Because I go through this uh, racist stuff all the time, stereotyping. But today I was like, you know what? I'm tired of it. I think this guy is just a real con man, and I think he's going to go from place to place. Call him. Officer Leo. Yeah. He then tries to claim that it was racism here that led to this situation. So he's really going for every possible approach he can to weasel his way out of this. The business owner here is saying how he thinks he's a con man who just goes business to business pulling this stunt. And I think he's probably right. It feels like this isn't his first rodeo with dine and dashing. It feels like this is probably something he does pretty often. I got the money to pay and I was trying to pay. All right, can you pay now? <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I'm trying to pay. So I want to sit down, have a water while I get my payment. This guy must have the orb of confusion in his pockets right now because he is spitting some stupid shit. He is on that moron potion right now. It's so confusing listening to him. He's lost in his own sauce. He's like, oh, I just wanted to have a water. I was going to pay. I can pay. I am go. I was planning on paying. I wanted to pay. I was going to pay. And the officer says, well, can you pay now? And he goes, no. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> can I do that? All right. Because... Signal 20. I need to know if they want to press charges. Yeah, because, yeah. No, no. I want to press charges. Not them. Right. Me. Officer. And, <laughs> and Daddy, can you answer me that question? Charges. Not them. I want to press charges to the restaurant, not to me. I'm sorry? <laughs> We good. <laughs> Buddy starts spamming emotes now, and he's like, I actually want to sue them, not the other way around, trying the Uno reverse card here. And I'd love to know how that lawsuit would go. 
I'm suing this restaurant because they're mad at me for not paying my bill. I fully planned on paying my bill, I just refused to. I even offered to give them an IOU. He didn't accept it. That's their fault, and they're mad at me. What the fuck? I, I did nothing wrong. I'm so sorry. I do being that you so man because. All right, I, so I if do it. You, you have a, you have a, what do you have there that you can pay <laughs> with? That you can pay the bill. Uh, what I, do you have here that yeah. you can pay the bill? Uh, right here, sir. My Robin Hood account. Why do they trade it? No, but you can't pay with that. Yeah, so that's my only form of payment. Oh, I got my problem. I'm trying to pay. All right, hold on. Thing. Yeah, they 71 switch into... He flashes his Robinhood account, which makes me believe he probably is a Wall Street Bets mod, because that's the starter pack. He's like, no, look, I could absolutely afford to pay. Look at my Robinhood account. And the officer's like, brother, you can't you can't pay with that there. And he's like, I know. But look, it's right here. I, I, I can't pay, but look at this money here. This is where, this is where it all is. It's not my fault. What, what am I supposed to do about that? Uh, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, let me call you porque me siento tan mal because I'm questioning your view. <laughs> this is so funny. You can't wait to see what, what's going to happen. It's amazing. <laughs> His mannerisms, he's like going full Joker mode here. I'm the Joker, baby. This guy's just acting like he's some kind of weird, quirky goofball. He's like, oh, you're, you're not going to want to miss what happens next. It's going to be amazing what happens next. Gotham deserves a new class of day trader, and I'm gonna give it to him. Ponéselo en el presentate. Sit. Sitting. Seventy-one taser, the taser pointed. I'm sitting down, guys. Look at this. All right, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Pete, put your hands behind your back. Tell him that I'm trying to pay my cops, and now he's arresting me. Get up. Things have escalated here, and he continues to try and say that he's attempting to pay his tab. He's also lobbying to the civilians around him, like. Look at what's happening. I don't understand what's going on. I was just telling the officer I was trying to pay my tab. I even showed him my Robinhood account. I was going to pay my tab with my imaginary money that I don't have. What do you mean? What's, I don't know what's, what's gone wrong. This injustice. I can't believe it. I'm Republican too. And he's Spanish. It's a system. He sucks, mama. Why are you searching me? Stop. You're under arrest. Why? He's telling me I'm under arrest, but he's not telling me why. Office. You're under arrest for theft. For theft? Me, theft? I was stealing. Thank you for your quickness and your kindness. Can I oh, get sure. you all the water here? Oh. Hey, hydrated. thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. that. The juxtaposition between these two officers' experiences is comical. One of them's having the worst day of their life, having to interact with this insufferable loser. And then the other one's just hanging out with the restaurant owner who's being extremely sweet and then just gives him water. And he's like, oh, well, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. Yes, don't delete the video, please. Thank you, Officer Hernandez. Thank you, man. I appreciate your service. Just don't delete the video. Ay, I cut out a lot there, things get very messy. It reaches this weird climax where this guy just starts going a little ballistic and wiggling around, which eventually ends with him getting taken to the ground and charged with resisting on top of already this. And now they've got him in the back of the patrol car and he's asking them not to delete the video, which I think he really should have asked them to delete the video. I don't know why he thought he'd come out of this looking like the good guy here. Everything you could do wrong he did wrong many, many times. I'm honestly convinced that he must have been the diversion to a bigger scheme, like something out of Ocean's Eleven, where this guy was supposed to just occupy all of the police's time by just being as loud and over the top as possible to direct their attention all on him while his associates do crime elsewhere. So that way he'd keep the heat off of them and focus entirely on him. Because that's what it feels like. Out of nowhere, he just starts like yelling and screaming and trying to like get everyone's attention from the public around him too. And it just makes this huge hoopla, this massive song and dance out of this situation. So it really feels like he was the diversion in a movie for a bigger crime plot. It was weird. I can pay the tap right now if you want. Like, it's no problem. And I can tip him the $100. No? And I know it was a miscommunication and I know... You're going to have to apologize to me, you know, and the owner is going to have to apologize to me, too. You can't pay the tab by just flashing your Robinhood account at someone. It doesn't just beam the money quantumly into their cash register. You, you can't pay it. That's the whole root of the issue here. You were provided a service under the expectation that you would pay for the service you were provided, and you 
can't. Also, you apparently freaking out and throwing a massive tantrum in the restaurant probably didn't help things at all. I imagine if you were a bit more respectful about it, like, oh man, Apple Pay's not going through, my credit card's not swiping, something must really be wrong. I, I can afford to pay this, but maybe we'll need to think of another way of doing it, this and that. Like, if you were more respectful about it, I imagine this may have played out a little bit differently. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's about it. See ya.